this is rose water and this is glycerin the reason why I use glycerin on this facial mist uh, due to its humectant and moisturizing properties it is glycerin it is 100% safe uh, to be used on your skin uh, and it, it is also organic so the solution is 100% pure rose water you can use any kind of hydrosol like lavender peppermint but the formulation today is uh, we, we, we want to make the uh, hydration, hydrating and moisturizing facial mist okay so the next step uh, is I'll be using the aloe vera extract uh, the formulation is 1 to 5% but it's all depend on the formulation uh, you have to adjust the formulation the maximum use usage is uh, five percent but some uh, some industrial uh, they they put only one percent but you can you can add to the formulation up to fifteen percent okay so on my formulation I'll be using only 5% aloe vera extract aloe vera extract is very cool and hydrating properties it's moisturized uh, balancing oily and acne skin it also reduce skin inflammation and mm, reduce wrinkle and scar so for this formation I'll be using only 5% aloe vera extract 5% equal to 5 gram in my formulation <coughs> put aloe vera extract stir well So the next plan is I'm gonna add the benefit of lavender essential oil. You can put anything like uh, rose essential oil, peppermint essential oil, as long as you know the benefit and the good of the essential oil. So for this recipe, I'll be using lavender essential oil. Lavender essential oil is very versatile oil. It can you it can be used for all skin type and also for baby too. Okay, the aroma is relaxing and calming. The benefit for skin it reduce scar spot, uh, reduce the hyperpigmentation, uh, balancing the oil skin too. So for this formulation. <coughs> Or any formation, the the percentage is only one percent maximum. You cannot use more than that. So for this formation, I using only zero point five percent because I don't want to 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 remove the the, the rose uh, rose property or the rose odor in this formation. So only zero point five percent. Okay, then. So, this is the trick. Okay. This is water, water, water solution, and this is oil solution. Oil and water cannot be mixed together. Due to this, you need uh, one of the solution. Uh, to combine it okay so
So this is PEG 40 hydrogenated castor oil. It is a water-based solution, uh, soluble. It is 100% organic too, material, but it's industrial grade. You cannot use polysorbate T20 or AT because it is it is detergent. Uh, it is more be used on uh, surfactant cleaning like shampoo, uh, facial, facial scrub, uh, facial, facial soap. But you cannot use on face um, face mist. Okay, on this formation, uh, you have to equal. For example, if you use the oil, uh, zero point five percent. So for the for the for the for the PEG forty, you, you you use the equal part too. So this process we calling as a emulsifying emulsifying as a uh, process. Okay. So PEG forty hydrogenated castor oil is derived from the castor oil. So uh, on our formulation we can. We can emulsify the oil and uh, water soluble, so there is no oil dispersed on top of the solutions. So it will make your formulation more stable, stabilized. Okay, so this is the mix of oil and uh, emulsifying agent for this IUPG40, PG40 hydrogenated castor oil. Okay. Okay. The question is, if you want to add more benefit oil into this formulation like uh, virgin coconut oil, grapeseed oil, argan oil, any kind of carrier oil, yes, you can, but you need to mix with the, with the emulsifying agent. For this recipe, for facial mist, the maximum is 2% only on your formulation, okay? Okay, so I'm done. Just add a little bit by bit on the formation. And stir well. Sometimes you have to adjust your formation. For this recipe, I'll try to make the solution as clear as possible when you notice the solution is becoming clear it means that the formulation is balancing uh, the formulation is stable too rather than you get the cloud, cloudy water it means that uh, the your emulsifying is not enough so when you apply on your skin you will feel uh, something like oiliness so it will feel bad on your skin too okay so just the well to make sure no lumps okay okay so just to maximize the ingredient they still it still uh, have the leftover the essential oil so it's very valuable. Just a simple quick tips. Okay. Okay. This is optional. This is a uh, hundred percent uh, pure alcohol. Alcohol. Uh, you can add to your facial uh, facial mist too, but it is optional. The 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 percentage is only one to three percent. You can add to your formation, but 
if you having a mm, you know the sensitive skin I'm not recommend that you to use this alcohol okay so now the solution is clear but we still have the leftover of PEG 40 just mix it well So this is 100% organic, but for you to commercialize this formulation and to make the products uh, long lasting, we need some something for the preservative. For this recipe, I'll be using the paraben free preservative you can get from anywhere uh, soaps soap or chemical supplier but my recommended is you need to find the all skin type safety for this are using the paraben free preservative all right so for the formulation okay you only need to use the maximum is uh, the minimum is 0 0.1 up to 1% uh, paraben free preservative so the if you use 1% the estimate date of expired usually around 2 years okay so for this formation this is for my personal use i only use about 0.5% Alright. Just stir well. Continue to stir well. There you go, we're done. Okay. No, we, we, we're not done yet. Let's give it a good stir. Should be a no problem. Or you can shake, shake it well. my container make sure you you spray with rubbing alcohol to remove any germs probably in it just to sterilize your your tools Just pour into the container.
There you go. A fine, natural, and moisturizing, hydrating facial mist. Shake well before use. Okay. So. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day and hope you guys enjoy. Any question, uh, just, just write down on my channel. Uh, please subscribe and follow my channel. Uh, thank you so much. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.